What is it that you would like to change in your life? What is it that you are wanting in your life that you're not seeing here right now? Let's talk about how you can change that fast. Thanks for being here. If we haven't met, my name is Macy Matarazzo, also known as the Reverend Lunch Lady, and I am YouTube's one and only unicorn wrangler who brings you more of the good stuff. So what is it that you want to create? Is it love? Is it money? Is it a new creation, business endeavor? Whatever it is, I love, love, love sharing consciousness tools that support us all in getting what we want faster. So today's tool is called the I Remember When Technique. Totally brilliant. It's from Neville Goddard, and I am obsessed with his work. I love it. It's all about the law of assumption. And this tool, I Remember When, is so simple but so profound that many of you who are going to hear this may not even try it. So I'm saying that out loud so that I'm hoping that you can wake up and say, oh, what if easy tools are absolutely as important and valid as the ones that seem like they're really hard? So anywhere where you've decided that if it's easy, it's just not as powerful, will you destroy and uncreate that? I like pulling up all of the energy that can come up when we're like, what? And then letting it flush away. So yes. It's true. This this tool is super easy. And what it is really about is when you're in a state that you're not wanting, like let's say you're single and you would like to be in a relationship, then this tool helps you to move from one reality to another reality, just like that. And when you are living in the reality that you truly desire, then that's how it shows up in our 3D world. So this tool, if you think of the universe as having infinite realities available, infinite possibilities available, this tool helps us to not stay locked into the places that we don't want. Because sometimes... We're like, oh, well, this is the way it is, or this is what's happening for me, and or I'm sad, or I'm frustrated, or I'm confused. And when we're naming things like that, then we are that. So I remember when immediately changes that. So here's how it goes. So if you want to be in a relationship and you're single right now, you can say, I remember when I was single. I remember when... I was lonely on the weekends. I remember when I was dating and just not meeting the right people. I remember when I was, you know, knowing that the right person would be someone who really was like easy to be with that person. So notice we're just naming the state in the I remember when statements. And that actually takes you out of being it. So when you're no longer in that state, because you're saying, I remember when, and you're the observer of it, then that opens up your whole being to receive that new reality, that next level creation. And if you want, you can take it further and say, I'm so happy now that I I'm in a relationship. I'm so happy now that I met my person. I'm so lucky I met my person. I'm so grateful. So fun being with my person. Like you can do that kind of stuff too to affirm the new space. I know for some people that can be hard to um, play in the imagining it fulfilled. It is a really powerful practice and it is part of the law of assumption. And I would encourage you to play with you know, really being in the wish fulfilled as much as possible. But even then, this video is really about the I remember when. And for me, it's like you're shifting realities. If you can remember something, then you're no longer in it. So that gives you this like leap forward. 
I love to think of it as a quantum leap. So, and then you can acknowledge that, wow, I just quantum leaped out of my old reality. And now I'm in this new space to receive something even greater. Just keep affirming this. And then it is so. So how much fun can this be? One of the ways you can use I remember when is if you like journaling, that's always a cool thing. I remember when and just let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. The other way I like to do it is adding an app that you can record or your phone. Most phones have a recording app and just recording your own voice. I remember when, I remember when, I remember when my business just started and I was kind of worried, am I ever going to get more clients? And then I remember all of this started to change. And then I remember when, keep going and just let yourself have that and really have fun with it. Then you can listen to your own voice having said that, and that can be really powerful too. I also think that it is really cool to add in the, oh, I'm so grateful now that, I'm so grateful now that my business is booming and I have raving fans and I'm so grateful that I have my YouTube channel is just exploding. I'm so grateful now that I have my beloved and we adore each other and it's just so fun planning adventures together and you can really get into that. So I really like partnering these two things together, the I remember when and then I'm so grateful now that. So try it on. See what it's like for you. I love it when you share your experience. So please come back and share your experience below and let me know what that was like for you. And certainly, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these, will you please share it with your friends? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. That is really how we get to create even more magic and love in the world. You know, spreading love never hurt anyone. Um, it comes back even a hundredfold. So thanks for all of you who have been doing that. And we'll see you on another episode. Bye, everyone.